Are you exfoliating too much? We get asked this question all the time, and I'm gonna give my favorite but most hated answer, which is, it really depends. Here's an interesting study that might add some context for you. So a lab back in 1983 wanted to measure the rate of cell turnover in roughly 100 subjects ranging between 18 and 80 years old, and see at what point in each age bracket did cell turnover start to slow down. So side note for skincare beginners, your skin's cell turnover is what exfoliants are trying to speed up. Faster cell turnover helps bring up that new, brighter, smoother baby skin, and is helpful for skin concerns like acne and hyperpigmentation. Now for this study, the ultra quick takeaway here is that a significant cliff where skin's cell turnover rate really started to slow down was noted in the 50 to 59 age bracket. Now this isn't to say that using exfoliants at a younger age isn't helpful. Many of us have acne, battle hyperpigmentation, deal with dry and dull skin. However, there's definitely a cohort out there that tends to overdo this category and hopefully this little study helps deter you and maybe your friend from going overboard. Ultimately, exfoliating is truly a long-term relationship, which means the relationship is going to evolve from periods where you only need the bare minimum to I'm in a corrective mode trying to tackle a specific skin concern. For instance, let's use my skin as an example. When my acne was a lot more stubborn and angry, I was using a 15% glycolic acid treatment nightly on top of my OTC Tazerac. But now I'm almost a religious nightly retinal user and I only need a 30% glycolic acid peel mask once a month. So you see, exfoliants are an ever-evolving long-term relationship. Remember that AHA concentration and frequency matters, and don't forget to sunscreen.